Well, we'd like to invite you to the uh, Colorado Plateau Seminar with the Humanities Series. Yeah, I'd like to echo that welcome. We're, we're looking forward to once again teaching a course on Colorado Plateau beauty, natural history, structure, people, geology. And we're really hoping that, uh, again, we have a vibrant group to participate with to communicate our passion and our love for the Colorado Plateau and its geology. The course is uh, going to be very visual with lo lots of great pictures and uh, we will share specimens, fossils, rocks, and stories. Uh, it's for anyone who uh, wants to tour the Colorado Plateau or for an avid explorer that might want a four-wheel drive through Canyonlands or the Slick Rock Country. It's really a unique landscape in the world. I've traveled many different places and there's nothing like the Red Rock Country and, and painted deserts of the Colorado Plateau. Yeah, this is big country. As many of you know, Europeans descend on the Colorado Plateau in the summer months. And I think part of the attraction is this wide open spaces, the beautiful red rock, the forests. It's such a combination of attractions in the plateau. I tend to think of the Colorado Plateau as a museum of natural history. And the displays cover nearly two billion years of Earth time. And what's beautiful about this gallery is that the displays are arranged so nicely and neatly. The oldest displays, the displays of the oldest rocks and structures are way down deep, for example, in the Grand Canyon. And they are stratified in terms of age order, more or less, from the deep part of the canyon up to the highest elevations in the plateau. And what also is fantastic about the Colorado Plateau is that because it's located in a semi-arid region, mm -hmm. and yet there's a water source in the Rocky Mountains, that, that creates the rivers that cut through the Colorado Plateau in this arid landscape, you have these amazing three-dimensional forms of rocks that lend themselves to geological interpretation. And the Colorado Plateau creates a context for drawing so many different things together in an integrated way. Uh, not only the rocks, the structures, the tectonics, but also some of the literature, some of the poetry, the human history, the cultural dimensions, and the threats to our Earth and to our environment. The Colorado Plateau uh, has a uniqueness in that we have these wide open spaces that are rimmed by major cities of the West, Las, a Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, we have Phoenix, go on around the east side, there's Albuquerque, but you have this perimeter of population growth, and then you have this interior that has been pristine for so long, and yet it becomes threatened, of course, mm -hmm. as all parts of the earth are threatened by what we humans can do to environments in no time. Well, I'm, I'm really excited about the course because George and I, having spent probably hundreds of field trips, uh, workshops, in my case, some photo workshops on the Colorado Plateau, we'll be bringing you on a field trip for the duration of this uh, seminar. We'll be actually with uh, specimens and our stories and, and our pictures uh, sharing with you uh, what it's like to travel through all these areas and we do know that uh, after this course you're going to want to visit the Colorado Plateau and many of the very special national parks and monuments that are on the Colorado Plateau.